Elliot, robotic process automation and test automation. I've heard people say these are trying to achieve the same thing. And by building test automation to test your RPA, um, you're effectively just wasting your time. What would you say to that? Wasting time is exactly the point. I've been saving loads of my time with these automated testing tools in the UiPath test suite. Basically how it works is I can define all of my test cases and all the inputs and the expected results and outputs. And then I can be checking that my automation is doing what it's supposed to be doing all the time while I'm building it by running these tests. So I get confidence in the consistency of the behavior without having to keep testing it myself and wasting my own time. I mean, isn't that the point of automation anyway, is reducing the amount of repetitive, manual, boring work? That's what manual testing is. It's just repetitive, nonsense work that I don't want to be doing. So I'd rather define what my tests are and what, what behavior I expect at the beginning or as I'm going, and then I can keep reusing those tests. And not just while I'm building the automation either. You can use the same test to check that that behavior stays correct when I'm making changes to the workflow in future after it goes live, or even when the applications that I'm automating or the environment changes. Actually, yeah, that rings a bell. Like I've, I've had tests where I've had automations where they're working fine and then someone goes and updates their application and guess what they told me? They told me there's no changes to the application with this release. Everything's going to stay the same. And then I came out on a Monday and the whole thing broke. My automation didn't work anymore. So I guess if you've got some, some tests, you could maybe run them then. And maybe that would, that would have caught that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, here, look, here's an example that I've been working on of a document understanding process. Okay. So I can run through some sample documents anytime I make any changes or I want to check that everything's working the way I expect it. So I can run through these sample documents and check that all the outputs are correct. And look, it even shows me how much of my workflow is covered by the tests. So I know if there are bits that I've missed when I've written the test cases. This is reminding me about some stuff I used to do when I was a Java developer. We used to write tests as well. We used to run things like JUnit, which would tell you how much of your code's tested. And uh, that, that's a familiar concept. And it would also do things like when I would commit my code, it would actually rerun all of those tests, make sure I hadn't broken anything by accident. And it would also then tie into some kind of um, automated build as well. But you can't do that with RPA, can you? Yeah, you can. You get all those same kinds of tools uh, with the test suite here. So you can link the test sets that you're creating in your iPath into your Jenkins pipeline or anything like that. So they can be run automatically when you're committing changes to the workflow or when you want to publish a process into production. And then you can also link them to issue management systems like Jira, so that if you do have a test failing, it'll automatically let you create an issue and you can then track any work that's being done to resolve the problem. Actually, that sounds really good. That'll keep the IT governance guys off my back as well, because they're always asking me about why am I not doing things like automated build and CICD and these other buzzwords that they've learned. So actually, you've really helped me out. I'm going to go take a look at uh, more about this. How can I learn more? Um, you can go check out the UiPath Test Suite course on UiPath Academy, and that'll teach you all about how it works and what it is, and you can get started that way. So what you're saying is I can start to treat RPA like I would any other technology. I can have testing. I can build my test cases first if I wanted. I can get confidence my automation is working. And I can get automated stats about the coverage of the test cases and how much of it is being tested. And also that annoying problem when an underlying application changes and it breaks your automation. With this, we have a chance of catching it before it happens. Exactly. 